Welcome to Insurrection Field in Brain Washington BS, home of the Cadavers. The Cadavers? What creative genius came up with that name? Well, when a team asks the biggest NFL star announcer what he thinks the team should be named, he gives his opinion. Well, in my opinion, the only name more stupid would be the Commanders. <laughs> Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Brain Washington Cadavers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Sure. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. Third and four. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be second down and four. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him first and four point attempt it's good <laughs> let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever First and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole! Second down and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and two. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Graham. And the 
ref just called a bullshit penalty. down and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and forever. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port of John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and two. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. Oh, monster hit! Scratch him off the roster. He's a goner. Second down and six. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Put the pedal to the floor. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Too late. for 
Bar. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and eight to go. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and five. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those poetic things, like a haiku! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Anyone in the mood for Newton Tartar? Now, these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit attack ref. It feels good. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. 
so I think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something that I won't be the oh with the brutal hit second down and two and with a burst of speed he finds an opening and the first down And it's first and ten. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. How would have thought you had that muscles to move like that? Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Rick. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. It's not the work speed dirty trick. Look at him go. It's the flash in the road when had a baby. And it was the goal. If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But they don't like it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down and two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And that'll be second down and four. Last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. A good 
Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. being played by my kid's sister. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down, and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Sean Kick and make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, he just got crushed. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about that two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Score! anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hand's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker Drop. No doubt about it, big guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me.
Vince just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Britt's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps, and I'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago. Second down and 10. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up third and one. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. First down and six. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. Go man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my brawl officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. by his team after the game. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. 
He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Man, I thought they snags. He got hit by a car. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, man, he really won. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And that'll bring up second and one. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Third down and long. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. catch on the play every little bit counts those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day second down and seven Second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Scrambler. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have pictures that. Uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. The quarterback on and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went off to the races. <laughs> 
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 fucking when the coach said the offense was gonna be explosive this week. He meant it literally. First down and forever. This guy's a brick shit house. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and long. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third down and three. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball. Ouch! What is this? Ain't he's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> It'd be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sick. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down, and, well, good luck. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down and seven. the football first down under two minutes a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win the offense wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up as uh, same as Brits's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it yeah she called it rabbit sex I took it as a compliment he caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it in the background you should know why i back down when it's go time or it's no time so i'm going to cut the call and they just don't try to hear just put the ball down and kick it in that order grim Goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. First and ten. Kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. I just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh! The defensive play looks... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Briggs, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. 
The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Ah, we are, Grim. Ah, we are. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly. Near and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. To stop. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Cadavers lose at home. Oh, that's embarrassing. Like having to change your team name. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got, and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...